back atop Mustang Stadium, Glenn Clark, MC McFadden on the All Access Post Game Show here on the Mustang Sports Network, powered by SFMSports.net. Stevenson falls today to number six, Gettysburg, 16 to six. We're now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, this is what I always like to play good cop, bad cop. And I get to be good cop, so MC can be bad cop, all right? That's not fair. So, always bad cop <laughs> yeah. when you guys play that. He always makes me be that. So I'm going to start with the good, okay? The I'm going to start with the good. I think in particular, in goal, Mac Ferguson was tremendous. Sure I know was. we're going to talk to uh, Sarah Rorty here in a second. Mm-hmm. She made play after play today. Mm-hmm. Your young players in a big spot against a very good team, there was a lot to like from that group. There certainly was, and, and I th- I'm hoping that they're building confidence as the games go on. What we had really anticipated is we had anticipated six games for the freshmen to start to feel it. And I think we're three games in, and I think we have half of our freshman group that is feeling it. Mac was playing like a senior out there today. Sarah was playing like a senior out there today. We've got a few more to bring along that are definitely playing better than freshmen, but I think that they're going to elevate by game six. I think we're going to be really difficult to contend with because if we can get them to pressure, then that'll release some of the pressure from our two or three senior goal scorers. Um, and we, we don't have entire defenses zeroed in on just them. It'll relieve the pressure. Defensively, you know, when, when you start five um, freshmen, it gives you a lot of gray hair. And <laughs> but I, I couldn't be more excited about the future. So when we're looking at good cop, bad cop, yep. good cop is I can rest well tonight to, and knowing that three years from now we got a real shot at a national championship. Now go be bad cop, MC. Okay, <laughs> bad cop, not bad cop. <laughs> but I am going to ask you about your veteran players because yes. we could sense the frustration of Olivia Montero and mm-hmm. Brady Hare from the fifth floor of Mustang Stadium. <laughs> right. And but they are your big goal scorers. They're going to be keyed in on. Yes. So how are they doing today? Well, you know, I think that um, it's not that they do anything wrong. They want to do the right things. And what we really tried to do this year was unleash the attack to go when they wanted to go. That being said, you can't play defense for two minutes at a time, have difficulty clearing it out, finally get it out, and have the attack shoot in the first five seconds. And they know this. So they're kind of caught between, but she was open, and I want to feed it because we're playing this freestyle attack Mm -hmm. versus, wait a minute, my middies just got here and my defense needs a break. So I think they were caught between things today. I don't think that will happen again. All right, MC has forced me to play bad cop. Okay. The clearing in the first half. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, it improved as the game went on, um, and I don't know how many of those are crimes of aggression and how much you can can live with that, but just what needs to change, because obviously 6-12 and some of the passes that were made in the first half, it's just not going to work against anybody. Right. We, you know, we, we cleared so well against Salisbury, and I think we forgot what we did there. And, you know, Gettysburg got to scout that clear, and yes, they put some things in place that would throw a wrench into it, but it wasn't a big wrench, and we needed to see around that. We stopped driving around people, and we started going through double teams. You can't, and that was experienced players doing that. We started running towards the sideline, where you cannot run towards the sideline because that's where they want to trap you. Um, we were throwing hail marys and not calling the name of the person that we were passing to, just hoping somebody would be around. We saw a flicker of a white shirt, and we were releasing it. I think that was nerves. You know, we played we played one tough game, and then we played one little bit easier game, and I think that they were just. I don't know. I don't know why they felt so rushed and why we couldn't um, possess the ball. But we'd made some changes, and I think that that worked out better. And the attack's got to help. Yep. I mean, there were yes. times that, that you know, Jamie Bittner and Hannah Tankersley were trying to run it up themselves, and all attackers are inside the attacking yes. 30, except for maybe one. And that's, that's kind of shameful. They know it's shameful. It's got to change. Uh, the other thing was draw controls, where early on it, you're getting a little dominated, but that number, that, that, the, the tide turned. What and it was seemed the final like, number? Uh, I think yeah. it was 13 to 10 ended okay. up being the final number, but this was very lopsided to start the game, and I thought the one thing that MC and I talked about was it really seemed like the players around the circle stepped up as the game went along and came in to help out Olivia. Something that we didn't see on film, but we, I recognized right straight away, was that number one likes to get, get the ball and curl to the right side. So we flip-flop Jamie and put her on that curl down down towards the goal and that kind of messed her up as to what she even if she got it she didn't know what to do with it because she only knows to curl that direction so that helped with that because even
even, you know, she was first to the ball a lot, but you could yeah, see the did. bobble yeah. because she wanted to get around Jamie to the right side so that we weren't giving them that. And I'll tell you what was a huge improvement today, I thought, was coming off of the defensive line was huge. Um, even the offensive line was huge. We talked about that. That was one of our goals is we had to get those guys more engaged in that. So since it bobbled around a lot, the ones that bobbled around, I thought we had our good fair share of, and, and that's good at fighting 50-50s. Yeah, that's, that's something a coach can be proud of, and the players should be proud of. Coach can also be proud of rescheduling the game to beat the I rain as it starts thing. coming in as right now. Behind us. Literally. <laughs> when the buzzer went off, I felt a raindrop on my neck. So, I, I was, well, you know. Well done. Well done. I would have taken rain and a win <laughs> over <laughs> over that loss. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Look, coach, I know it was a tough one, but we always appreciate the conversation. Thank we'll you. see you again here next Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. She is Coach Kathy Rayleigh joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show.